over 50, so what? I'm Carol. Now, I hope you're feeling ready, ready for action to join in the five minute fitness segment after the break. Yes? And you can do it sitting down. To kick off with today, we have a bit of a serious topic, and that is looking after your mortgage with all the increases in interest rates. We chat to Christine Williams, property strategist, with tips to help ensure you keep your property. Very helpful for yourself or your children who might have mortgages. Lastly, we have some more fun with Liz from Koya, and also find out about free dance options for men. Now, don't forget to join in the 5 Minute Fitness. This is Living Life, and today we're chatting with Christine Williams, leading property strategist. Christine is known as the go-to girl, and she's one of two women voted in the top 10 property specialists in Australia. Christine is a speaker and author of The 10-Year Commitment and Suddenly Single. But before we go any further, I'd like to uh, impress upon your audience, I am not a financial advisor, nor am I an accountant, nor am I a legal advisor. I am a qualified uh, property strategist. Hi Christine, welcome to Over 50, so what? Well, thank you very much for having me Carol, I'm really looking forward to this. So people are a bit panicking at the moment because there's been like 10 interest rate hikes and we'll kick off today to, well, to discuss what's happening in the property market generally, if you can give us an overview from your perspective. My own property portfolio is on the eastern seaboard of Australia, so Victoria, New South Wales, ACT and Queensland. And I can assure you that every state is very different. We have, however, every state has the issue about supply and demand, and we are under supply when it comes to property. So yes, we have had 10 interest rates, uh, and today we're sort of sitting at interest rates anywhere between five and 7%. And some people would say to you, well, gosh, you know, interest rates are so low. And I must admit, I was one of them. But when I think about what wages were against what the interest rates were against what property prices were, believe it or not, we're, we're sort of sitting around the same thing. So five or 7% today is sort of the equivalent of 17%. From a what should I do perspective, okay, um, don't panic. The first thing that I truly believe that you should be doing is pick up the phone and start speaking to some advisors, pick up the phone and speak to your lender. Some of the things I've been talking about with my clients that were doing this panicking, you know, they, they might have been paying $2,000 a month on their mortgage and it's going to $4,000 a month on their mortgage. You know, what should I do, Christine? Well, the first thing you've got to do is don't leave it to the last minute because it's not going to go away. Uh, interest rates are here to stay. I believe there may be one, if not two, before they settle. And then look, honestly, by September, October, 2023, I believe that they're going to start reducing or great incentives to change banks, okay, from banks. You know, we're sort of seeing ANZ and now we're offering $4,000 to refinance. It's not a bad thing. If you can refinance, you know, why not take the cash? But talk to your lender first, okay? The $4,000 is the, the carrot. It may not be the best option for you. Find out what you're paying today. When is your fixed rate going to finish and what in today's world, if the interest rate is 5.38 or 6.2, what would my new repayments be? If you have some extra spare cash, you may or may not, but start incrementally paying more today. What it does, it actually puts you in advance so that when you do come out of your fixed rate, you will be in advance. And it gives you perhaps another two, three, four, maybe six months time to really catch up because you're, you've started to pay in advance now. Do speak to your lender about penalties if you overpay within your fixed term. I was speaking to my daughter yesterday and uh, she knows she's coming out of a fixed rate and we've had this conversation. She also picked up the phone and said, what will my rate be? And they gave her a rate and then she come back and talked to me, mum, this is what my rate's going to be. And I go, okay, let's go back and call them again this afternoon and get a better rate. We went back on the phone, waited an hour and a half, but that was okay, the music was fine. And she actually got another 0.9% off the standard variable when she comes out of fixed. People just pick up the phone and ask the question. It will take time out of your day, but it will save you tens and tens and tens of thousands of dollars. So don't panic, find out exactly what the new repayments are likely to be and what the interest rates are likely to be when it comes off. And then 
what other steps should you take? Well, the step is once we know what it's going to be, and of course, if it's going to double, you know, <laughs> it, it's a lot of money. Please don't think I, I'm pretending it's not going to be a lot of money. But once you know what that mortgage repayment is going to be, you then look at your household income coming in, expenses going out, and it, you know, it's time to do that big B word budget. But that's the first part. The second part is, is this your owner occupier home? You know, we're not going to sell our owner occupier home unless we really, 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 really have to, okay? Um, today's media, they're talking about 15% are going to go in default. Default doesn't mean there's going to be an excess of properties that are going to be really cheap. It's not going to happen that way. Banks in Australia have um, an obligation to work through you. Banks are not in the business of selling houses. They need to work with you to make sure that you can you know, go through this storm and, and come out the other end positive and stay in your own home. What options are there if people actually don't have enough disposable income currently to service the mortgage? I'm about to explain something from, uh, you may or may not have seen the home safe um, eligibility. I love the ad where the, she's a ballet, ex-ballet dancer and she was thought she was going to lose a home and, and uh, home safe come to it. Look, there's things out there which, called, which are reverse mortgages. In the beginning, and when I say beginning, this was about 15, 16 years ago, I was probably okay with them, but I'm not okay with the reverse mortgage now. I am okay with the product from HomeSafe. The difference being uh, you can't be under 60 because it's legislation. So what is offered there is your own home, and, and let's just say for the purpose of this conversation, if your home is worth $1 million, you have $500,000 equity, or you've got 50% equity. HomeSafe will come in and purchase 20 to 25% of that property. So they will give you $250,000, okay? So that's 250,000, but they're buying 25% of your property. As your property still grows in value, you still retain 75% of your property, plus the money that the $250,000 they've given you for the 25%. And then, you know, it could be five years or 10 years and the property could be worth 1.5 million or 2 million, depending on how long you keep it and HomeSafe take the 25% of what the selling price is. I'm certainly not endorsing the product in any way, shape or form, except I've been down this path with uh, some clients and it just seems to work for them. The key is 60, you must be 60, uh, and you can actually have a look at it. Now, we're 55 and we're having tr trouble problems and you know we've got five years before we can look at that. It may be we actually have a look at what we're doing. Are we still employed? Have we got access? You know, what's our super going to look like? Have we got, you know, 50% uh, equity in our property? It may be worth looking at selling and seeing what that is, seeing what you're going to come out with, seeing what rent's going to be, if you're going to rent. You know, you may be expecting inheritance. Um, you know, it may be that you can start cohabitating. It may be uh, that you decided to sell and you're going to look at this and downsize at the same time, come back with some extra cash. So the 50 to 55 is, you know, different to the 60s. And then the other thing you may consider is that, you know, you haven't got enough year mortgage and all our universities, you know, they do want billeting. You know, you, you can get another female into your house and she would be paying, you know, rent for the home, but you've got to learn to cohabitate. So, you know, we live in a world now whereby we can start asking questions and there could be other opportunities out there. Do look at all options, put all options on the table before you make a decision. Yeah, because most people want to hang on to their house. So if it's only a short-term thing to rent out a room, get some more money to pay off the mortgage. By really thinking about what you can do and, and opening yourself up to perhaps ideas you had never even considered, like taking in a student or, you know, cohabitating, you know, this could keep you in your own home for as long as you want. Continue to get capital growth and, you know, it, it could just sort itself out. Because I truly do believe by September, October 23, we're definitely going to be seeing a, a stabilisation in our interest rates. I definitely believe that there's going to be more incentives from the banks and or reductions in interest rate. I, I really do believe this. So if someone watching today can give you a call and have a chat about their unique situation. Oh, definitely. Please, please go to my website. You know, there's hints and tips that you can download or, you know, leave me a message and I'll contact you. The website's uh, smarterpropertyinvesting.com.au and uh, I'm happy to help you where I can because, you know, I'm a wife, a mother and a grandmother, so nine times out of ten, been there, done that.
Welcome to Five Minute Fitness. What is it? Five, five Minute Fitness. Walk you on the spot. And if you're sitting in a chair, no excuse, just follow Fabulous Faye. One, two, three, four. And we're going to walk forwards. One, two, three, four. On the spot. And back. Again. All you regulars should know to make sure you've got a clear space in front of you. So you can join in. Back. And forward. I think we got this, haven't we? Yeah. Okay, one more. Now we're going to do a stepping to the side, out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in. And speed it up. Faye likes to do everything fast from the beginning. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Getting that attitude going again. If you haven't joined in, it's not too late. You're gonna feel a lot better afterwards. Okay, hold it on the spot. Gonna walk forward. One, now we do the out, out. Out, out, in. Walk back. One, two, three, four. And out, out, in, in. Two, three, four. Out, out, in, in. And back. Out, out, in, in. And again. Out, out, in, in. And back. A few more. And back. Okay, we'll do one more. Out, out. Now, something different. With your right leg, we go one, two, three, together. One, two, three, faster. One, two, three, together. One, two, three, together. Pump it. And once you've got this, we will put in a clap. <laughs> One, two, three, together. One, two, three, together. Now with that attitude. Woo! <laughs> now we're going to make the pumps go out. One, two, three, side. One, two, three, side. Get for a jump in it if you like. Two more. Walking on the spot. And we're going to go walk, walk. Coming forwards. Forward. Hold it there. And back. Again. On the spot. And back. One more. And back. Now we're going to go out, out, in with your left foot. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out. See, I threw you on the deep end then, because I know you can do this. You're, you're a fast learner. Out, in, in, and out, and in, out. And now we put it together. One, two, three, four, and out. And back. And out. Again. And back. You rock, we did it! Woohoo!
Today, we're going to take another sneak peek into the world of Koya. For all you guys out there watching, you might have wives, partners, sisters, mothers that'd be interested to know all about this amazing form of free dance, meditation, yoga techniques. And to tell us more about it, we have Liz Reichart. Hi, Liz. Hi. Thanks, Carol. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Five of the top reasons that person would want to try Koya for the first time. So um, it's really fun to move your body just for the sake of moving your body. It's great for getting you out of your head and stopping to think and overthink and bringing you back into your body and to feel your emotions and to dance with them. It's an amazing way to connect with the women in your community because we sit together, we sit in circle, we share and you will make friends coming to Koya. Um, it's great for your mental health and it gives you something to another way to um, move and dance and just forget about what's happened for the week and just come into this class and be happy. And it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it really is just well, fun. a lot of fun. We can't get enough fun in Can't get life. enough fun. That's <laughs> exactly it. Now, for a beginner like me, like someone who's never mm -hmm. done choreo before, what would a beginner expect in, a, in their first class? Um, so I when, I, when you come to a class, I welcome you in. You're, you get to sit down on a yoga mat. And then I will, when, during the introduction, which goes for sort of about five minutes, I'll explain everything what you need to know about the class. And that's where I explain to you that the whole thing about Koya is that it's a dance practice that's based on the idea that through movement we remember, and what we remember is that our essence is wise, wild and free. And you experience that through the class by the different kinds of movements that you make. So you get the wisdom from yoga, from tuning into your breath, your heartbeat and your feelings. You get the wildness from the free dance, from being wildly, truly yourself. And then you get freedom from finding the ways to move your body that just feels so good. Now, if someone's sitting at home, they're a little bit anxious about getting out of the house, trying something new, mm -hmm. they can just come and try it, can't they? What would you say to someone yes. that's like, oh, I don't know about, I don't know anybody, what, you know? Well, well so when you sign, when you go onto my website and you sign up for my newsletter, you'll get sent a code so you can book in for your first class for free. And that is for any of my in-person or Zoom classes. So basically, you won't, it won't cost you anything to come. It'll cost you the two hours to come and see what it's like. Um, and of course, the other option is my Zoom classes, which the benefit of Zoom is with, and with my classes is there's no obligation on you to keep your camera on. You can take it into the backyard, you can do it in your bedroom, you can do it in your PJs, you can do it however you want to. Oh, beautiful. So that might be a way of easing you in too. Now, uh, Koya is designed for women. Yes. And, but there are similar modalities that men can do. Can you tell us a bit about that? There are. The other, there's other modalities which are free dance that are less structured than queer. Queer is quite structured, but the ones that are available for all sexes is um, there's five rhythms, there's something called body mind centering, there's a static dance, and those are all things that are happening in and around Melbourne, and there are online classes as well. So Liz, what's the who's the oldest person you ever had doing queer? I, well, I had my 75-year-old mother doing classes okay. and she brought a couple of her friends who were in similar age group to her. Mm -hmm. uh, and last year in March, as part of a initiative through the Hume City Council, I was actually running classes for seniors. So we had a, a group of women there who were coming weekly through March and they were all 60, 60 to 70 years old who were coming and doing Koya. And for those classes, what we did is I have the yoga mats as I have for all my classes, and I also had chairs. So people could, so the women could sit on the chair if they preferred for the whole class, or use it to get up and down, or however they found was the best way for them to be part of the class. And how long do you think you're gonna keep teaching for? As long as I can still dance. <laughs> I'm not stopping. I'm ready for to take over the world with Koya. And now, Sabina, I hear you've been doing Koya for a while. Tell us about it. Um, a little while, um, since last year. Um, and I, I mean, I love dancing, but I find with Koya, um, it just really completely takes you out of your, your mind um, in a good way and into your body. Um, so it's a very sort of somatic experience. Um, and, you know, Liz is a great leader 
and um, you know, there's all sorts of elements to it. So yeah. So I how really did you find like about it. Koya to start with? Um, I just found out about it through a mutual friend actually, um, and we came here and had a group, and it was great. Yeah. So you're only relatively new that I got here six months. Yeah. Yeah. So can you see yourself doing this long term? Um, I can certainly see myself continuing to do it. That's for sure. Um, I might make it every week, but, you know, it's a really um, enjoyable modality. So, yeah, I think it's a, a really good, healthy... Because it's great physically as well as just, you know, emotionally. So, yeah. So you just come along and you don't need to wear anything special, any special clothing? Not really. I just sort of wear my jogging stuff, but you could wear anything really. Yeah. And you don't need any special gear? Nope. Nope, nope, just yourself, as far as I can tell. So yeah. you just come along yeah, in whatever along. clothes and have a good time. And have a good time, exactly. So what would you say to someone sitting at home uh, thinking about trying Give it, it a try, give it a try, definitely. You won't regret it. It's a lot of fun. Come along, definitely. Now, Liz, can you tell us a little quick technique that people might like to try at home? Well, I think one of the best things that comes out of a Koya class is shaking. So the way I introduce it in a class is that I say that I'm going to show people how movement can be medicine and I tell this story and I invite them to take one hand and to start shaking. And what I say is that there, once, there was a gazelle who was running across the African savannah and she was being chased by a gigantic lioness. And the lioness was gaining on the gazelle and the gazelle thought she was going to die. But the lioness zigged right and the gazelle zigged left and the gazelle got away. Now, she can't go to her girlfriends and say, oh, my God, I nearly got eaten by a lion. So what she does instead is she stands there and she shakes. Oh. She shakes out the fear and the adrenaline and all the other emotions that came up for her while she was running for her life. And then she stops and goes back to being gazelle. So stop shaking and hold up your two hands and compare the feeling in the hand that you just shook to the hand that's sitting and still normal. Oh, this is amazing, this yeah. hand. Yeah. So I always get a really light sort of buzzy feeling. Yeah, it's a buzzy, yeah. warm circulation, yeah. energy. So what my tip for you is, if you are feeling blah, you're having a shitty day at work, you just don't know how, you've just got a thing and you don't know how to deal with it, get up and shake. And if you can't stand up, lie on your bed and do it like a two-year-old throwing a tantrum. Arms, legs in the air, literally shaking your entire body. Do it for 30 seconds, and trust me, you will feel so much better afterwards. All right, so have you got any last words of wisdom to, to, to about everyone to be in the Koya? Oh, everyone to come into the Koya. Koya is so much fun, and it's so hard to describe what Koya is until you come and do it and try it for yourself. So what I would say is give it a go, and... If you don't like it, the worst that's happened is you've spent two hours of your life in the company of other women. Now that the show is finished, why don't you go and pop on your favourite music and do your own free dance? For information on Sun Rangers Koya, go to our website, carolahalloran.com. If you'd like a free chat with Christine Williams from Smarter Property Investing about your property situation, Info is also on our website, carolahalloran.com. Please connect with us through Facebook, YouTube and Insta. Over 50, so what? Replays also available through CTV+. Now, get up and dance or move like no one is watching. Because no one is watching. I'm Carol. See you next time. watching our TV show. Be sure to hit subscribe and then you'll never miss an episode. Jump on Facebook, join our group, get in on the fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. I'm Carol, over 50, so what?